Good afternoon to the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today is Monday, April 20th. Like we always do, we're going to start with our thoughts and our prayers to those who have lost their lives and those who have lost loved ones. So we will have 20 seconds of prayer and, and thinking of all of those. All right, thank you. Update on St. Bernard Parish and how we are moving forward um, with all of the new CDC guidelines, all of the talk of opening up um, in certain areas that have a 14-day downward trend of positive cases. Um, our president came out with his plan and it's a phased approach. Uh, and phase one is, is what we're looking for in the beginning of this thing. There are a few things that we know about phase one and there are some things we don't know about phase one. My first question is when does it start? Can we go back 14 days from today and if we had a steady decline what they're talking about in positive cases can we start today? Um, and then I want to know what does steady decline mean? If you know if you drop two go up three and then drop another two is that a steady decline or does that low spike hurt you in those four days? For us, it would be impossible. And that's what I tried to tell Colonel Wascom with GOSEP with the governor's office. You know, if, if we're only having six, seven or eight um, positive tests come back in a single day, then it's impossible to continue to go down from there past 14 days, right? You only have eight. So I do believe that St. Bernard Parish is going to be declared um, um, for phase one, that we can enter into phase one. What does that mean? There are a lot of unanswered questions. They do say in phase one that restaurants and gyms are able to open, right? So what does that mean? We really don't have any specific guidelines for that. But what I'm asking the citizens of St. Bernard Parish who own businesses, all of you who have small businesses, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a retail outlet, whatever it may be, if you want to go back to work, submit a plan to St. Bernard Parish government and let us know the type of things that you're going to be doing in your business to make sure that we do not have another spike in this COVID-19 crisis, to make sure that we continue to flatten the curve. To continue to, to continue to have 13 or 14 COVID patients at our hospital, like has, it has stayed clear or the line has stayed flat over the weekend. We have 28 patients, we have 13 COVID patients, and we only have one patient on a ventilator. So in, in my mind, what we have done at the hospital level, not necessarily these positive test data. Remember, that data, Tests could be held up somewhere at a lab and you get them all one day. So it's not a true indicator. And that's what I'm trying to tell officials in Baton Rouge and officials in Washington, D.C. Our hospital is the best indicator of what's happening in our parish. So if we're staying strong there with our numbers and we're not increasing those numbers and our emergency room visits are continually going down, we only had 23 visits to the emergency room yesterday. That is a significant change from Friday and Thursday, it was around 47. Two weeks ago it was 147. So we have significantly um, flattened that curve here in St. Bernard Parish and I'm so proud of our citizens. The next phase is coming and we have to be just as responsible in the next phase so that we don't endanger the vulnerable citizens in St. Bernard Parish, and that's gonna be part of it. We're gonna to have to be responsible. We're gonna to have to continue to um, view the CDC guidelines as something that is a daily life, six feet. I think masks are gonna be part of the equation. If you own a business, I do believe 
that your workers and your business are going to be required to wear a mask. Don't know that for sure yet, but they're going to be required to wear a mask is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that tables in a restaurant is going to have to be six feet apart. You know, I'm hearing, you know, some, some different things about that. I'm hearing some different things about ballrooms and what's going to be a requirement for that. If you have a business that people may um, consider uh, non-essential, I want you to submit your plan to St. Bernard Parish Government and send it directly to me. It's President McInnes at sbpg.net. And I will make sure that your plan gets sent to community development for review. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be ready to allow you to open up your business um, sooner rather than later. We have our restaurants want to get back to business. It's going to be a little different in the beginning, right? But we want to do it in a responsible way. I want to do it before May 1st. That, that's the big date that everybody's talking about. But if we can do it in a responsible way, I really do think St. Bernard Parish is that place. And just because Orleans Parish uh, is going to be more restrictive until May 15th, it doesn't mean that we can loosen our restrictions here in St. Bernard Parish in a responsible way. And remember, it is our personal responsibility. It's our personal accountability for where we go, what we do, and what we bring back home to our parents and our grandparents. You know by now, I would hope you know, who is a vulnerable um, family member. Elderly, diabetes, kidneys, obese, certain things like that, hypertension. We have to worry about all of those, those things. Your kids hanging out with other kids in the neighborhood. We probably shouldn't be doing that. We, we cannot do that. We got to continue to be responsible so that we can unleash our workforce. Here in St. Bernard Parish, one thing that I am proud um, to see is that our people want to go back to work. People who are working enjoy working. We're not sitting at home wanting to grab a $600 check from the federal government. We want to go to work. We don't want that handout. We want to be able to go out every day and work in our community and work in other communities. So we've got a lot of things happening right now. It's exciting because it's moving in that direction that I believe the citizens of St. Bernard Parish want to move in. But we have to do it in a responsible way. Um, we're entering, you know, some people say um, we're at halftime and we're entering the third quarter. You know, I'm saying we, we're entering the fourth quarter. It's time to really lock down on these guidelines, re, um, have less restrictions in public, have less restrictions for businesses to open. Therefore, we can continue getting back to normal sooner rather than later. If we continue to, to have the success that we're having at our hospital on a daily basis, where people have a broken arm, or if somebody has a heart attack, that they can still process those patients. And today, it's better than it ever was going back a couple of months, right? So we are on board with the phase in that our president um, submitted last week. We are on board with our governor. He is um, looking at the different regions. He's looking at the different parishes um, throughout the state of Louisiana. I feel very confident that St. Bernard Parish is going to be one of those parishes that on May 1st, um, they're going to introduce these new guidelines. But I know this. I know that our citizens who own businesses here in St. Bernard Parish are going to be more responsible than anywhere else. And I know that the plans that you submit to your parish government and your ideas and how to follow the CDC guidelines are going to be better than any guidelines come from any governmental agency. So I want to hear that from you. I want to know that you want to open up. I want to see what your plans are. We're going to learn something from that, right? Our citizens are going to learn something from that. We may have some suggestions for you. You obviously are going to have some suggestions for us here in parish government. And we're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to make sure that we monitor the public, to make sure that we have people out there doing responsible stuff, that we are self-accountable, to others in our community. So um, the gatherings 
from what I understand in phase one, is still going to be at 10. Office buildings will be able to open up under certain conditions. We're already working at that here at Parish Government. Um, our people want to go back to work. And we're looking at um, a way to get our people back to work here. So we're coming up with all of our guidelines. One of them is every day you come to work, you're going to have your temperature taken. That, you know, you're going to have to wear a mask when you're walking around the building. We're not going to have more than 10 employees in one area. So we're going to make sure we do responsible stuff because your business is what's important to us. And we need to make sure that while we bring businesses back in a responsible way, that your government is also coming back and being responsive to you in a responsible way. So we said a whole lot today. Um, I really do believe this week we're going to learn a lot. And I'm hoping that we can go back to work sooner rather than later in a responsible um, way that loosens the restrictions that we have out there right now. And I just know our community is going to pull together. I know that we're going to continue to see a decline in cases here in St. Bernard Parish um, because like no other parish, we want to go back to work. And to do that, we know we have to be responsible. So with that said, I'm hoping we have a whole lot of information um, for you tomorrow. Uh, I know I spoke to the governor today. There are some things that he is looking at. Um, and, and, and let me say this, I was going to wrap it up, but in a, my conversation with the governor, I don't think that he's going to um, um, make these guidelines based on a region. He's going to look at guidelines for separate parishes, right? So we here in St. Bernard Parish, we are going to determine our own fate, whether it, it comes to going back to work sooner rather than later. We're not going to be tied to any local community or any regional aspect um, of Louisiana. St. Bernard Parish is going to be on our own merits, right? And just remember, what's happening at our hospital 30 to 40 percent of everything that happens at that hospital is non-St. Bernard residents. And I wanted to make sure the governor knew that. So when we're looking at these numbers of what's happening at our hospital here in St. Bernard Parish, that, you know, if we have 30, if we have 30 patients at the hospital, probably 18 to 20 of them are St. Bernard residents. You know, and, and if we have three people on ventilator, it's Usually one or two people from St. Bernard is going to be on a ventilator, right? So um, that makes a difference in where we go um, from here and the things that we are able to do. Um, we also talked about large gatherings. When does that come into play? I really don't see that coming into play into phase two, which is about 28 days or a month down the line. But he didn't, he didn't look at it and say, well, I don't think that's going to happen. And, and that's so encouraging to me, especially what we have going on in, in the metropolitan region. So again, here we are in another phase of this for the next three weeks or so. Um, while we loosen re restrictions on businesses and on the public and we be responsible and we moving forward, we may, behave, we may be able to get into a situation where we have gatherings of 250. People might be able to have their weddings. We might be able to have our dance competitions here at the Civic Center. We might be able to play baseball this summer. So those are some positive things to shoot for, but it's not going to happen unless we're responsible moving forward. And I know we can do this. We can do it together with government, federal, state, local, along with our awesome citizens. So with that said, um, thank you so much. And God bless.